let's go four co-op three or three and wow 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 <laughs> What? Hey guys, it's your boy Vibag with more Marvel Feature Fight content and today we are taking a look at the black and gold suit Spider-Man with I will not tell you the custom gear. <laughs> I don't know. And today we are going to be going against the Mephisto stage 35 with the build that I had because Man, I did the PvP video before and I went ahead. This is my account. Yes, I got both the uniform synergy on my main account. Gosh, one, two, three, four, five. And so in case in the future, if I want to switch to PvP, I can just switch to this uniform and I'm done with this thing. This black and gold uniform, man, insane in World Boss Legend. Very, very, very good and proc friendly. And I think it's insane, man. I'll just let you guys know uh, yourself when you see the run. So let's see, take a look at the stats and then we will talk about the rotation and the cards. And then we will go for the run. So for the stats, we are capping out everything. It is very easy to cap out his stats because he gets 50% critical damage from the uniform bonus. This is huge and 25% critical rate and 25% dodge. So a very easy character to cap out stats with. Although we are having everything maxed out, you can see I'm 21% over the critical damage without the critical damage, uh, see, uh, well, custom gear. We got no Odin's Blessing, just the physical attack Urus, the 8, and then I have some, uh, well, skill cooldown just to max out that. We have ignore defense roll for the last one. All skills are level 6. We will go for the rotation in a bit. Type amplification max level. Of course, this does help out a lot in Mephisto specifically. I'll try to do a null video as well and uh, let you guys know. Power of Ariel stage 12. Artifact. No artifact. I'm still wondering or maybe waiting for the Spidey artifact so I can give him. We have the guard break immunity. 160% damage proc obelisk. Oh my god. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna use. This is what we will be using for this clear. Then we have a mythic uniform with no uniform options. <laughs> I don't have any of these uniform options on my account. I don't I cannot do anything and I don't know. <laughs> it's alright. We don't have extra stats, but we can't do anything right now. So now for the skill rotation and the skill set. He's insane, okay? The tier 3 passive helps a lot, especially with this 60% damage increase to villain types is very, very good. The first skill is nice, second skill is nice. Basically, fodder skills. 3, 4, 5 are the only good skills in the kit and of course the tier 3 skill. Third skill has the accumulation. You have to hold it and I know. Thank you so much for all the comments that you posted on the Spider-Man video, the red one. And yes, you have to hold it for 1.2% accumulation, about two and a half seconds. Then the fourth skill is instant cancel, gives you that buff for all attack and also gets some really nice damage from that Doctor Strange uh, thing. And then the fifth skill, the bread and butter, where you want the proc and then we have this thing as well. Now, for the uniform uh, options and apart from that, uniform effect is, as I said, very easy to cap out stats. Anyways, let's go check out the rotation that we will be using. So, yeah, we have. I think you might have seen uh, it on other content creators' videos. So if I, if you do this, you only get. Uh, uh, I think where is it? Yeah, you only get the point four accumulation. If you hold it and cancel here, you get actually where is that? Uh, yeah, one point two percent accumulation. So this is important. It does helps a lot. Although sometimes it can trigger the proc, but now I think I'm very comfortable. He's very easy to proc. Just use this a bit far away. And you, you will never activate the proc and you will still be able to get the 1.2 uh, actually accumulation easily. Rotation. Uh, it will be 3 cancel. 4, 5. And let the fiscal run, man. This is, and you can also move it here. And then I'll just use the 2 cancel 1 quickly. Then 3 cancel. 4, 5 again. Get the damage. So 2 rotations and you need to get the proc on the 5th skill. 2, 1 just for the fodder. Two seconds left or yeah, two seconds left on your uh, timer for the fifth skill. You can go three cancel, four tier three, five. You can instant cancel four and instant cancel tier three skill. You will still do insane amount of damage. I think it's the similar damage and you still get that. That is going to be the rotation again. We'll revise it. Three, four, five. And then two, one, you can go. I'm just canceling just to show you guys quickly. And then again. 3, 4, 5, you do it 2 times and then your skills will be off cooldown 
on the tier 3 skill rotation, you need to go 3 cancel, 4 tier 3, 5. And this is how you do damage. Tier 3 skill and 4 skill have the residual damage. And yeah, that's awesome. Also in World Boss Legend, you can also use the co-op skill. For the cards, we are rocking 22% peers, but my physical attack is very, very low. 64.4 physical attack only because I recently changed my cards. I lost 20% physical attack. Anyways, let's go see what Spider-Man can do with this build. Let's go. All right, so stage 35 Mephisto. Of course, we are running White Fox with the uniform as well as... Uh, uh, Crescent for the 60% physical attack leadership to all of the characters, which is uh, very, very good. And yeah, like I think he's very consistent, uh, even with letting the second, uh, third skill go. It will take you some practice. Anyways, we'll go three cancel, four tier three co-op, five, and this will do the most damage for you. If you guys don't know, uh, Spider-Man, if you don't have any other team ups, actually does the fourth skill with the co-op skill so if you use the co-op skill along with the rotation for the tier 3 skill you will be able to do massive damage probably like 1.5 percent uh, 1.5 times the damage that you will do uh on the normal skill because of course man it, it just uh, gives you extra damage anyways three cancel we'll go four cancel again tier 3 co-op 5 insane damage and i think we should be able to we just broke the shield at 358 definitely really nice three cancel four cancel five again get the proc and look at this this is the normal skill damage with a 160 percent obelisk three bars man uh, i think it was three bars i guess okay i could not use the th uh, tier 3 skill i don't know why the tier 3 skill did not trigger so this run can definitely be improved like a lot okay then we go three and the co-op skill damage look at this oh my god oh my god this is beautiful beautiful damage on the skills and everything but yeah uh, we could not use the tier 3 skill before so this run can definitely be improved by a lot one whole tier 3 means a lot uh like it's a lot of damage in terms of uh, especially for someone like spidey for any character by, by all means anyways we'll go for three cancel four five easy proc and even without anything he does three almost three and a half bar which is very very good uh with this build that i have i'm definitely debating if a mighty ctp of energy would be better or a mighty destruction would be better because the strike is very good strike is op man literally the 120 percent damage dealt on the mighty is very very good as Again, the 6% beatdown is actually very good as well. Anyways, we have 238. We should be able to get it down in the next rotation, I believe so. And here we go. We go for it and I think we should be able to... Yeah, we got it. Nice, nice, nice. Two, 226, we got it down to the second phase. Now, 3 cancel, 4 tier 3, co-op, 5. Here we go and look at the damage. Three, four, five, six, six and a half bar on stage 35 with a stupid obelisk. Wow. This is huge, man. Like, uh, Spider-Man is amazing with this black and gold suit. I did buy both the uniforms just to see how... Okay, this was bad. This was bad. This was bad. The proc, I think, is going to activate. Well, yeah, I could not use the tier 3 skill there. Anyways, now I will use the tier 3 skill rotation and it will be beautiful. 3 cancel, 4 tier 3 co-op, 5 and see the damage flowing. Whoa, wow, wow, wow. We got to nearly the 14th bar. I'm just going to use the 4 cancel, 5 for some extra damage. Let's go 3 cancel. Just spam the skills so that the tier 3 skill can be ready for the next rotation. So we'll go here and the third. He's a bit slow. The movement speed is kind of slow, I, I think, but that's all right. 3 cancel, 4 tier 3, 5. I was thinking to wait for the co-op skill, but that is all right. Don't hold it too much. And we will be able to get uh, him to the second phase. There we go. Uh, 8 bars remaining. We definitely delayed the second phase, which is nice. And we will be able to do some nice damage before going for that. This is gonna be the last tier 3. And this was beautiful. Like literally, we were able to do uh, a lot of damage. Because of the second skill that I used, the proc is gonna activate here. So I'm just gonna wait. Wait and now go. Two seconds left on the proc. Three cancel. 
4 tier 3 co op 5 and zoom swing 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 <laughs> stays 35 42 seconds remaining not the perfect run anyways oh my goodness like wow spidey is insane man like how many characters can do stays 35 yeah with an obelisk man with that build and even with artifact it will be better with his own artifact he will be even better in pvp and yeah these are just man this is like no build at all just not even a ctp man without a ctp i can give him like a destruction and i think a mighty destruction will be the best case scenario and i think brilliant destruction will be best for him not for just uh uh, Mephisto, I think for Null as well because Null actually guard breaks you a lot. I'll try to make a Null video as well with him and see how high I can use him with this same obelisk that I have and he will do stage 39 easily with, with I think a mighty like super super easily and it's not even a CTP man. O obelisk come on <laughs> get this in from guys i think this is definitely worth purchasing uh if you want to purchase it now again if you have other characters that you want to use and do you just want him for pvp go for this uniform this will be better for pvp and probably give, give you more value so let me know in the comment section what do you think about the video of course if you do enjoy the content don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well and also don't forget to turn on that post notifications and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one spidey is insane man insane rework